this time. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Verizon Wireless. My wife is hard at work in there. She has to be. Pay for my motorcycle. <laughs> God love her. My 2013 Victory Judge. You know I've had a motorcycle license for, no, I don't know how long it's been, since 1968, back when they gave a motorcycle license to our children, I don't know, I wasn't very old, 15 I guess, uh, you know when you had to take the test, uh, the old fashioned way, and the old fashioned motorcycles were no directional signals or anything and how much basic bare bones motorcycle stripped down a lot of chrome triumphs and harleys and you know hand signals and for the instructor following you and I guess they have schools now where you do it the whole weekend and ah what's this soap from the car wash This is my quid pro quo. The victory judge. And I like the bike. I like it a lot. You know, it's a great bike. It's it's just a lot of fun. It's um, it's full of power and uh, just real responsive. And, uh, and you can go forever around town, you know, on a tank of gas. And, and uh, it's fast, you know. some fun on it, 50, 75 miles a day. Uh, we're going to take you down here, and we're going to show you... Let's slow down a little bit. One of Bangor's main attractions, which is Stephen King's home. So if you're a Stephen King fan, there it is. That's where he lives. Let's go in, Molly. Nah, better not. He frowns on that kind of thing. I like the gargoyles on his uh, on his fence. Kind of cool. Somebody stole those one year. Anyway, Stephen. 
Larry King. If you're a fan. This is all new. This is the development of the waterfront, which they've done a really nice job with. Uh, this was just old abandoned railroad yard down here. If you look over to your right here, that's the, the concert pavilion. The Darlings Concert Pavilion. It was all summer long. All the uh, 
major axe come through here and they draw huge crowds. Big names all summer long. Nice staging area. Now here, straight ahead, is the Penobscot River. This river is the longest navigable river east of the Mississippi. And if you have watched the movie Hunt for Red October, at the very end of the movie, you see them sailing that nuclear submarine up the Penobscot. Why? Because it's deep enough to sail a nuclear sub. Very deep, brackish water. Uh, in the back in the heyday, the tall ships would sail up, uh, bringing goods. And uh, actually, they would come up to Bangor to uh, get. Um, for the masts for the ships. And this is where they got them. And in the bottom of this river is uh, they have recovered Revere Weir. So Paul Revere uh, or his cohorts have been up here several times. But it's a it's a dangerous river. It's a tidal river. And uh, I've talked to some divers who have had to recover bodies from it, and some of them said that they would never go back down again because it's so deep and you can't see your hand in front of your face. So that's the Penobscot. On that note, let's go back down. I better stop. <laughs>